Our All Indiana artist today is serving as a voice for her generation, not only as an R&B and pop musician, but as an activist. She was a leader in the peaceful protest of George Floyd's death in Indy back in 2020. She's such an impressive young woman. She's recently released her single, Lonely Again, ahead of her new EP, Happy It, it, it Happened. Welcome our very wonderful guest, Taylor, Taylor Hall. Hall. So, Taylor, one, we've been fan, I'll say we've been fangirling. Mm -hmm. I've been fangirling. Who did you bring with you today? Um, my producer and wonderful instrumentalist, Brendan Barr. He does almost everything for me. Does photography, videography, wow. music. So, right-hand man. You no. got to have a good team. Right -hand man. Look, he may, he, folks, he may seem quiet, but, but that, that thing sings. Listen. I'm just telling you, that thing he yeah. got sing. Uh, yes, <laughs> and we hear it all throughout our music, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you yeah. definitely do. Okay, so your first single was... I can't breathe. Uh, tell us about that single. So before I released that single, no one in Indianapolis or anywhere knew that I even did music. Mm. I was organizing within the Indianapolis community downtown almost every day, um, May, June, July of 2020. And my father wrote a song, I Can't Breathe, the message of standing for love, not hate. Mm. And I was like, Dad, we have to do something with this. We have to release it. I don't know where, I don't know how we should go about it, but we have to put this message out here. Yeah. So then at the sit in on June of 2020, I sang it at the Capitol, which happened to be the largest protest in Indianapolis for police brutality. So there was about 10,000 people there. And I just was up there with my guitar, um, one mic, no plugins, no sound or audio, and sung it for everyone. And since my life has never been the same. Wow. wow. You know what I love so much mm -hmm. about you, Taylor? is the fact that you are homegrown. I mean, you went to Christmas Addicts, you used to walk all the way to IUPUI. I mean, you've been doing all these amazing things and you transitioned from advocacy to music. You've also had 30,000, did you hear me right? 30,000? 30, 30,000 streams of unfolding about coming of age and uncertain times. Tell us a little bit about that journey for you. Yes, yeah, so when I released Unfolding, I was in my junior slash senior year of college because I finished early and it was just a really awkward time in my life because I didn't know what I wanted to do next. Mm. I had done a lot of advocacy work in Indianapolis. I'd released my first single. Everyone's like, are you going to keep doing music? Are you going to do advocacy? Um, you ha you're about to get a degree. What are you going to do? And I'm like, I don't really know. I'm unsure. So then Unfolding came about. Brendan actually sent me like a guitar loop. And I was driving home like on the back roads of Indianapolis. And I was just like, everything's going to work out. Everything mm. is going to end up the way it's supposed to. You're right where you're supposed to be. Just stay calm, just trust God, and everything will pan out. And to answer that question, why not both? <laughs> why not yes. both? Uh, your upcoming EP, Happy That It Happened, is loaded with colorful and charismatic vibes. Mm. Uh, how would you describe what people are getting out of this thing? I would say it's a story. Everything that I release, I try to make it a story with substance. Um, it's about a relationship and the different phases of a relationship, coming together, falling in love, and dispersing. But the ultimate story of it is being happy that it happened. Mm. Sometimes you go through things and it doesn't work out, but just knowing that you learn something from each phase. I, I, I can literally sit here and listen to her just all like, the time. Really? I mean, she's what so else? wise. And quickly, you're acting too. Yes, yes. Oh my goodness. Acting too. What can you not do? She I can't. Like, I can't dance. <laughs> <laughs> we'll work on that. It's okay. We we get. We'll dance for you. That. <laughs> and what are you singing for us today? I will be singing "Unfolding." It was my first song that I've ever written that I released on my own. Wow. And I'd say it has resonated like, with the most people mm -hmm. out of all of my releases just because you can relate. Like, we all are trying to figure out what we're doing next Absolutely. and where we're going. Taylor, I think, I think we're ready for oh, unfolding. I'm ready. You ready? Mm hmm. Okay. The floor is yours. Thank you. Bye. 
that guy was in a bad space. I felt lost, I didn't really know my place. Didn't have a plan, didn't know what I was doing or where I was going, but I kept moving. As time went on, things started making sense. Finally, I'm able to afford my rent. Now everything is beginning to unfold, and my story's getting told. Yeah, it's all starting to mold, but I'm.